Well, it's been described as one of our great stories. Plum Productions presents Bright Star, which is based on the life of celebrated cosmologist, that's such a cool job title, isn't it, cosmologist, Beatrice Hill Tinsley, who redefined the universe. Now, we have with us now lead actor Chelsea McEwen-Miller and director Paul Gittins. Welcome to you both. Hi, thanks Thank very much. Now, doesn't it seem just perfectly timed after we've just had our last guest, Gray, <laughs> yeah. who said, doesn't know where the universe comes from, and they go, oh, well, that's us. It's OK, <laughs> we've got someone who can explain it. But before we get to that, um, Paul, you're very well-known face in New Zealand. Uh, Michael McKenna on Shortland Street for up ten years, weren't oh, you? Um, three years. Were you? Yeah. Oh, well, I was at one of the original cast mm -hmm. members. Felt longer. Felt yeah. longer. <laughs> Maybe that's the time well, I was I've, watching. It's never escaped me. It's still with me. So. <laughs> uh, you presented Epitaph and you performed over sixty lead stage roles as True. well. Uh, but now we can see you more often sitting in the director's chair. Yes. Can't we? Well, it's something. It's it's the passion I have these days. I just really enjoy the process of putting a play together and and the live aspect of it as well. And working with actors, I just love that process. Mm -hmm. Chelsea, tell us about your career to date. Oh, I've done a bit of everything. Uh, <laughs> mostly theatre, mostly theatre at like uh, the basement theatre, which is for, you know, um, free. <laughs> um, I've made a few of my own shows and actually have done another show that Paul directed me in a few years ago. Um, yeah, bits and pieces. Well, that's when pieces. I saw the talent that Chelsea had and this is the perfect role for her and I'm sure it's going to launch her career. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Name up in lights, like literally. Um, Paul, now you are the executive producer as well of, um, of Epitaph as well as a presenter. So the historical side of things obviously really interests you. Mm. Um, well, I loved getting into New Zealand history at that time, for mm. sure. Yeah, it was something I, I hadn't really explored before, but doing that programme gave me this, um, yeah, this passion for that too. And Travelling around the country and finding all these, um, like every little town had its kind of uh, store of history. There'd be one person in, in the small town that, you know, was the keeper of that place's history and talking to all those people and talking about the stories that we're doing. It was, it was a fabulous experience. Mm. One of our greatest stories is obviously the story of Beatrice Hill Tin Tinsley. Tell us about her. Well, it's kind of crazy how few, how li little she's known because she should be one of our big stories. Um, she's, oh, there's a street named after her in, on the North Shore, um, Beatrice Tinsley, which is her, Hill was her maiden name. And um, she really was disappointed that once she sort of gained recognition, she uh, gained it under the name Tinsley, which was her married name. Um, so I just really like that everyone's now referring to her as Beatrice Hill Tinsley, which is what she wanted. So she moved from <laughs> New Zealand to Dallas, didn't she? And that's where the story takes, takes yes, part? Yes, she, she moved with her husband um, at the time, Brian Tinsley, and he got a job at Dallas, the University of Texas, Dallas. And uh, this is set in 1974, and at the time... The women, the year women got credit cards. <laughs> that's oh, right. Oh, yes. that's, yeah. <laughs> in America, yeah, they America. passed a law that Amer women were allowed credit cards. And as one of the characters in our play says, what do I need a credit card for? I can use my husband. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but um, the problem that um, Beatrice came up against in uh, Dallas, Texas, was that her husband was working at the university and they had an anti-nepotism law there that... Um, if your husband was working there, they couldn't favour the spouses of staff at the university. So she had all this amazing brilliance and she couldn't get Doing a job, basically. Wow. Yeah. And in order to get a job, um, this is the guts of the story, really. Um, she had to choose between family and career because um, her husband didn't want to leave his job and she came up with a job on the other side of the country and so what did she do, you know? It was, mm. it was um, a terrible, terrible dilemma for her to be in, to leave her family. Why has her story remained largely unknown yeah. in New Zealand? I'm embarrassed I don't know anything yeah. about her. I didn't know anything about her until I mm. got this role either. I think most of it's maybe because it happened in the States. I think so, quite definitely, a lot. yes. And um, she died relatively young as well. It's interesting that uh, just last month, the New York Times did a huge article on her. Um, what, what was it called? Unknown, um, unknown or, no more. Unknown, unseen no more? No, not un something no more. Un, um, 
We should know unknown. this. <laughs> we read it anyway. It's very basically good. Basically unknown no more kind of yeah. is the message of it. And uh, so now she's starting to gain this recognition, but it's long overdue because she's a real Kiwi icon, you know. She should be on money. Like, <laughs> she should be on money. So who else is in the cast for this, this show? Uh, Lisa Chappell, mm -hmm. uh, Matthew Baker, or Matt Baker, um, David Aston. David Aston and, and Bruce Phillips. Mm. And so, really, I'm so lucky as the director to have a, a fabulous cast. And it's interesting just to quickly mention Lisa's character, who is the opposite of um, Beatrice, really, who has the same dilemmas but can't make this decision and feels stuck and doesn't do anything about it. And so there's quite a nice comparison between mm. those two characters. Do you feel like you're helping her cause in some way? Oh, absolutely. So. Yeah, yeah, and I really do hope so. I mean, this, this woman was a seriously brilliant woman. She spoke several languages. She was an amazing violinist. She could have been in the New Zealand Symphony Orchestra if she'd stayed here. Mm -hmm. Amazing mathematical brain. She, what she did <laughs> was she took all the data, astronomical data that was coming in at that time, and she processed it in this amazing brain of hers and came up with this new theory of the universe. And she did it from her kitchen table, you know, because she couldn't get a good job. That's fantastic. Well, I'm looking forward to finding out a lot more about Beatrice um, because this show sounds absolutely fantastic. It Thank is. you both <laughs> very much for joining us today. Bright Star plays from tonight until September the 16th at Auckland's Herald Theatre. You can check out the Auckland Live website for ticket details.